dog hearts. Do they exist? It's been five years since I started looking for the god cards. I'm still looking for the three divine beasts. Fortunately, my luck has taken a turn for the better. I was told there was a man at the top of this mountain. Perhaps he will know where they are. Wait. Is this the man? I'm looking for the god cards, and I was told that you know where one of them is. If you seek the god card, meet me inside the factory at the very top of this mountain. Sky Dragon, so they do exist. If you want it, you'll have to be the it. Very well. Duel! I'll start things off. First, I summon Marauding Captain and attack him. The best part of a Moronic Captain, once he's played, I'm allowed to summon another level 4 warrior type. So I'd like to give me the Iron Knight in attack. Finish all off, I'll play one card face down. And I end my turn. Two monsters in one turn. Not bad. But let's see if I can top that. I start things off by activating the spell card Dark Summon. This card allows me to summon twice during my turn. And with this card, I'm going to normal summon Queen's Knight and King's Knight, both in attack position. And when King's Knight is summoned with Queen's Knight, I'm allowed to special summon Jack's Knight. I'll have Jack's Knight attack your heal free. Attack! Stop! I activate my trash card, threatening roar! This card ends your battle phase, which means you can't touch me this turn. Fine. But before I end my turn, I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. I activate the trash card, Thunder of Roar. This card is going to prevent you from attacking me on your next turn. And with that, I end my turn. I summon the blue-eyed white dragon in attack position. And with that, I have to end my turn. But next turn, you're finished. <laughs> you think you won just because you summoned blue eyes? I sacrificed my three knights. To summon my Egyptian god card, Slifer, the Sky Dragon! So what? My monster cell has more attack than yours. Seemingly, but I have to be the skull card, Pot of Greed. Which allows me to draw two cards and add them to my hand. And lucky me, I draw another pot of greed, which allows me to draw two more cards to my hand. 
And lucky me, I draw another pot of greed. And with that lucky strike, I now have four cards in my hand, giving Slifer the Sky Dragon a whopping 4,000 attack and defense points. Slifer, attack his pathetic excuse of a dragon. I end my turn. My turn. If I don't draw the car I need, it's all over. Come on. First, I play familiar knight in attack position. Then, he'll attack your sky dragon. If you're going to throw in the towel, just say so. Why would you do such a move? Because the nice thing about Familiar Knight's effect, we both have to summon a level 4 monsters from our hand. So welcome back, Gearfree, the Iron Knight. Fine. Then I'll summon my Exiled Force. So you took one card out of my hand. Fine. My Sky Dragon is still stronger than your level 4 monster. I activate my spell card. With this card, I can bring back a monster from the graveyard at the cost of 800 life points. And I bring back Blue Eyes White Dragon. But I don't just have one Blue Eyes. I've got three. Impossible. Go! Fuse together to create Blue Eyes! Ultimate Dragon! No! But wait, it gets better. With the last card in my hand, I activate my spell card, Megamore. What are you getting at? With this card, since I have less life points than my opponent, I can double my monster's attack. Giving him a whopping 9,000 attack points. Fine. My Sky Dragon is still strong. I'm not attacking your Slifer the Sky Dragon. I'm attacking the monster familiar knight made you summon. My monster? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, attack his exile force, which will finish him off! No! What's this? Quite the duelist, aren't you? Who, who are you? That coin looks similar, doesn't it? Use the coin to find me. Soon, you'll find out the secret. <laughs>